G'day and welcome to the final turn of Chaos in the Old World. And this is going to be a pretty interesting turn. It should be a quick turn because there's not a lot of choices here. But first, there is a humongous error that I've done. Bigger than all my other errors. And that is, it's kind of badly worded in the manual for my defense. But it was pointed out to me that, remember how there's two sets of scoring for Ruination cards? If you place a corruption token, you score in the turn that it's ruined, you score this top value, and then whoever has the most points in the region scores these values here and the second of these values here. But what I didn't realize is that if the Horned Rat has any figures in the zone during the ruination, he gets as if he's a contributed and so we haven't given him any of those points that he's deserved so this is a huge huge effect basically he had cut he had figures in every one of these zones when they popped every one of them I mean he could win the game right now so let's have a look four points one two three four three points one, two, three. Four points. One, two, three, four. Five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he is at 46, which means he needs four points to win this game. That's it. That's all he needs. So, because uh, if he goes over 50, it's game over. Now, there's a couple of things going on in this turn that are quite heavy. The first is that Slanesh is one dial tick from winning. Okay, so as soon as that dial ticks, he'll win the game. The other interesting thing is there's a number of completely useless spaces on the board. In fact, pretty much all of them. The only two spaces of interest really are Troll Country and the Empire. And why is this? Well, for starters, there is only one Ruination card left on the table. So there's this one card on the table, and the game will instantly end if we go to draw a Ruination card, and there's not one there. So, out of the, all the zones on the table, and there's three zones pretty close, the, uh, only one of them can be ruined. Now, what's interesting is, of course, is that there is a turn order. It starts here. And it goes down and snakes up to here. So this area here is going to be calculated before the Empire. If the Troll Country pops, and it's pretty much going to pop unless someone wipes out all the, you know, uh, all the cultists. So yeah, so if this pops, when this pops, the game is going to instantly end. So this is a good way of not worrying about Slanesh. If we can get this to pop, then this won't. That being said, that means that all we need to calculate for the Empire is domination, not corruption. Because if this pops, the corruption is not going to matter because it's just going to signify the end of the game. It also means that Zinch is not going to be able to just fill up on Troll Country, because I mean on uh, the Badlands, because no matter what happens, one of these zones is going to pop before here, so this is a dead zone. That being said, Zinch is in... Zinch and a, a rat guy is over here. They can only move to Troll Country, because remember, it costs the same amount to move a piece as to summon it on the board. So all these pieces, especially these ones out here, are in the middle of nowhere. This guy for Nurgle and this guy for Nurgle especially are going to have to spend a summoning point, two summoning points, or something rounds, or whatever you want to call it, just to get to this zone, because they've got to move here and then here. Really expensive. That's the situation. This area is worth 10 victory points alone, okay? Whoever dominates that is going to earn 10 victory points. So, the last Chaos card is... Plunged into Chaos. Each player immediately scores one victory point for each peasant token he has claimed. 
The player who has the most peasant to tokens scores three additional victory points. Discard this instead of adding it to the old one track. Well, that's pretty awesome. Corn has one peasant token. Nurgle has two peasant tokens. One, two. Zinch has one, two, three peasant tokens. Slanesh has one peasant token. And the Rat God has one peasant token. And Zinch has three, so he has the most peasant tokens, so he gets a bonus three. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Uh, you're in such a bad position. Gets two cards. He's got almost his whole deck here. <laughs> There's no hand limit. See, this is one of the big drawbacks of Zinch. These guys draw two cards every turn, but Zinch only draws up to his hand size, up to five cards. Okay, so he's going to spend zero points, and so he's up to seven, and he's going to play Bloodbath in Troll Country. Nurgle goes to six, gets two cards. What you got? Okay, so Nurgle has no real cards that are going to help him, so he's just going to focus on the uh, the board. So what exactly is he going to do here? Hmm. Actually, she is going to cast six. I mean, cast zero, so he stays on six, and he's placing filth in Troll Country, and he gets to swap one Slanesh token for one Nurgle token. You see, if Nurgle win, if Slanesh wins the corrupt, if, when this pops, if Slanesh gets first or second place, uh, it's gonna be really, really bad because this is worth 10. So if, if Slanesh wins the domination and comes, even comes second in the corruption of Troll Country, it'll be game over. Okay, so it's Zinch's turn, what have you got? got three cards, who draws two, and two. Okay, so, for the cost of two, one, two, I mean one. He's gonna play Convocation, which allows him to move three figures from anywhere on the board into that zone. And he's gonna move three, three cultists from uh, Nausicaa and place them in the Empire. And because this has a little, whatever it's called, sundial star thing, he also gets to place a horror in that region. Donk. Okay, Slanesh, what's up, honey? We got one, two cards for you. What have you got? Oh, oh, oh it's not fair. Okay, for starters, Go up to six. For zero cost, she's gonna cast Festival of the Sinew into this zone. Which means that every time someone summons into that area, uh, he'll get a power point. Okay, and the underdog favorites who have turned out to be quite powerful. Two cards, what you got for me? Okay, so he's gonna spend one and move a rat cultist from here into troll country. Okay, so Corn can't play any cards, so they're out. So he's gonna spend one, two, place a blood letter, and place it in Troll Country. Here, we're gonna spend one, place a plague demon, place it in Troll Country. Zinch, he's gonna spend one, and move a cultist into Troll Country. Zinch, uh, Snalesh is going to send one, place a cultist in the Empire. The Rat God is going to spend one, place a rat cultist in Troll Country. Corn is going to spend another one, two, place another blood letter in Troll Country. We're going to spend one, place a plague bearer in Troll Country. 
Zinch for zero cost is going to replace Festival of the Sinew with a bolt of change and transfer one demonet into two cultists. And now, as Sinew is gone, people can summon into that zone without fear of adding to Slanesh's power. The Rat God is just going to spend one and just put another cultist in Troll Country. All he wants to do is dominate that. If he can dominate this, he'll win the game. Corn is going to spend another two place, uh, what are they called? Blood Letter in the Empire. Nurgle is going to spend another Plague Token for a Plague Bearer and place the Plague Bearer in Troll Country. Zinch is going to spend one and play a Warp Shock covering uh, Filth oh actually covering uh, Bloodbath poor Corn, he just can't catch a break and that means that each magic symbol and each warp stone is going to be extra battle dice. So that's two extra battle dice of him and it had a magic symbol so it summons a horror. Slanesh is going to cast one, two, no, no just cast one, place a cultist in the empire. The Rat God is going to spend one, place a cultist in Troll Country. Corn's last power point is going to place a cultist in the Empire. We are now going to spend one power point for Nurgle, place a cultist in Troll Country. Zinch is going to spend one, place a cultist in Troll Country. Slanesh is going to spend one Place a cultist in the Empire. The Rat Guard is going to spend one, place a cultist in Troll Country. Corner's out, so it's Nurgle. It's going to spend one, place a cultist in the Empire. Zinch. It's going to spend one. Place a cultist, I mean uh, a horror, in Chalk Country. Slanesh is going to spend two, one, two, place a uh, demonet in the Empire. The Rat God is going to spend one, place a cultist in the Empire, I mean uh, Chalk Country. And he's out. Nurgle's last one. Place another cultist, place this in the Empire, and now Zinch. Zinch can't really cast anything, he's got no more figures he can move, so he is just going to pass. Slanesh is going to spend one and move a figure. Oh, there's nothing he can do either, actually. So he's just passing, so he's not doing anything. Okay, so all the action is in these two zones. So the first thing we need to do is resolve the battle phase, which is going to be huge. So we start with Troll Country. Now, let's just look at Troll Country for a sec. One, it's going to pop. If the rats have any units at all in this during the ruination phase, it's game over. Because the next ruination card is worth five points to anyone who ruins that turn. So that could very well end the game. So everyone has to kill the rats. It's their only option to win. If they don't kill those rats, it's game over. Nothing else is a huge amount of difference here. But what we do, we have blood drinker and two blood letters for corn. Now poor old corn hasn't got to break this game, uh, namely because I've been rolling badly, but also because I completely forgot that his big daddy unit rolls four dice, not three. So, 
Sorry, corn. Four dice for corn, plus an extra dice because of his ability. And now that's not e every model, that's just for the whole zone. So he gets one extra dice. So five dice, let's go. Oh, corn, baby. So that's one, two hits that are exploded, and a third hit. So that's three hits already. Plus two explosions. Another explosion. Corn finally decides to roll. And another hit. Wow. So that's one, two, three, four, five hits. Beautiful. Pity uh, Zinch removed Bloodlust, otherwise that would have been five corruption tokens. Well, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's five rats destroyed. Put this guy down like that so I remember he's still got a roll. And not that I think it'll matter, but he gets a turn counter. Now Nurgle has four plague bearers. Come on. Oh, terrible roll, but he gets one hit with an explosion. Oh, oh two explosions. Come on, Nurgle. Okay, so two hits, not too bad. Could have been a lot better. Two hits, it's two more rats dead. So there's one more rat on the table. So it's all up to the horrors. If Zinch doesn't kill that last plague rat, there's no chance of winning. Okay, Zinch. Two horrors, let's do this. Oh, one hit. So that's one hit with which he kills the last rat. So the rat now is not gonna be able to contribute to the ruination, which means that the game can continue. So, pretty hardcore. Now, uh, it is the rat's turn. The rat has one die. And a miss. Now we have this great big cluster. Again, uh, this is definitely gonna be ruined. So we don't have to worry about the rats this time. Right, let's have a look here. I think everyone should have just piled into here. Okay, so we have to stop if Zinch or Slanesh win the domination in this zone, it is game over. So Zinch or Slanesh is gonna win. Uh, no, actually, only Slanesh can win. So everyone has to kill Slanesh. We have two blood letters. We have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, Wow, that's not a lot. Okay, let's do this. Two blood letters is four dice, plus the extra dice from the ability is five dice. Oh, it's one, two, three, four, plus an explosion. Oh, yes. Corn finally starts rolling. Five, yes, five hits. Okay, so, domination of this zone costs six. So you need to have six units on the battlefield to win domination. Slanesh has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have to kill five, five of Slanesh's. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Zinch. Now, Zinch is low priority. I think we have to kill Slanesh. So, we have... One, two, three, four, five. Slaughtering the cultists. Okay, Zinch's turn. He has a Lord of Change with three dice, plus he has one horror. Oh, no, three more hits. Wow, we're doing so well. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Okay, he's gonna kill one, two, three. So he killed two rats and Nurgle. So the rats have been wiped off the board. Okay, so that is it for the battle phase. Now, the demon, the, the dark elf are marauding, but there's, uh, they're only destroying one zone, so both these guys die. Okay, so let's do this. Domination. We have one, two, three, four, five for Slanesh, and one, two, three, four, five, six for Nurgle, and it is worth one point plus another two, so it's worth three. Resistance is two because of that, it doesn't matter. 
So it's three points to Nurgle. One, two, three. Oh, it's so close this game. Over here we have domination of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus six for ten points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Zinch is totally going to win this. He only needs one more VP. Nothing else matters. Let's go to Ruination. I think the conclusion is drawn. Now, actually, I'm just going to look up the timing. I'm pretty sure it's instant win, but I'll just check. Okay, so checking the rules, I've actually made a mistake. The game end victory check happens at the end of the turn. Let's do the corruption. We have one for Zinch and one, two, three for everyone else. So that is, so that's one token for, for Slanesh, two tokens for Zinch, and two tokens for Nurgle. And this of course ruins this region. So that is, that is eight tokens for Zinch. Five tokens for Nurgle, and there's only two for Zinch, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so the Ruination card is drawn. All Runas gain five points, so that is Slanesh, Nurgle, and Zinch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Troll Country is worth eight, uh, eight and four, is that right? Yeah, eight and four. So it's eight to Slanesh, four to Nurgle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we have the ruination for this zone, which is one for corn. Yay, corn. And wow. One, two, three, four, five for Zinch. Boom. And there is no ruination points because we're out of ruination cards. Now, I just, I've always played the game instantly ends now, but. I just checked the rules because I'm sick of being corrected. No, I like being corrected. Uh, it's what, actually one of the best things about doing these videos is that uh, you get the exact rules taught to you, like taught to me as well. Like, you know, when you play with other people, you're always checking each other, but when you play by yourself, it's very easy to just forget things or just continually get them wrong forever. So whatever, the point is there's no ruination scores. So that's the end of the game. Because no one else can score. We've done Brunation. We've done everything. That's it. Yep, that's it. That's the end of the game. Yep. There's no more, nothing else to do. Wait, there's also one for Nurgle. Which gets him Adultic. Not that it matters. Okay, so there's no Old World cards to activate. Nurgle and Corn both get Adultic. Nurgle gets... Upgrade card, doesn't matter, and corn gets upgrade card, doesn't matter. Okay, so the final score is Zinch. Yeah! I love Zinch at 55 points. The winner. Slanesh, 49. Nurgle, 48. The Rat Guys, 47. And corn 27. So, uh, that last round, I think I played it wrong. I think... It should have just been an all-out everybody in Troll Country. That's probably what would have happened in real life. Uh, I must admit, I've never played a game that has emptied the Ruination deck, and I've never played a game that has gone to the last card of the Old World deck. So this is a this game is a lot longer than a normal game because of me playing all the angles sort of drew it out. But anyway, so that's Chaos of the Old World. Hope you liked it. I'm going to add a new section to my videos. I'm now going to do a review of this game and that's going to be the final video to close it. Now normally I do do a what's coming next video where I get people to vote on what they'd like to see played next but I'm pretty sure Eldritch Horror is going to win and to be honest 
I want to play Al Jokora, so I'm just not going to bother doing that for this time. Just because it's so new, just in case you're watching this ages later. Al Jokora just came out. So, Chaos of the Old World, one of my favorite games, an excellent game, four player game of awesomeness. I will see you next time.